Welcome to our story about premium taxis. Hi, Wickham. Sitting with Vera Carotti. That's right. Who is the founder of premium cars, which used to be called Premier Cars. That's right. It's premium minibuses. Premium minibuses. That's right. Okay. Premium minibuses and cars. Three out of the first five people that I took on that first day of taxi driving here in 1981 are still customers of mine today. Today, we're on the community show, I'm interviewing Vera Carotti, who runs Premium Cars in High Wycombe, taxi company. And uh, we were just talking about um, what it means to run your own business. And I love the analogy of what you were saying about Shakespeare and like a theatre company, you know, uh, so we, I can empathise with you. Well, State Shakespeare said, yeah. all the mm -hmm. world's a stage and all the men and women are merely players. Mm -hmm. And I would just point out that this is my stage. And I think that is the satisfaction. That's as near as I can get to telling you that that's the satisfaction that I personally have. It must be amazing because you're at a level now where you're looking back and you can see the success, you can see how you started and the pitfalls. So do you want to tell us a little bit more maybe about the pitfalls that were there when you first started and, and, and how you've overcome them maybe? The pitfalls, this, it's a mechanical world this one, and the pitfalls really is, is, is that you're dependent on the, the mechanics of a car and the mechanics of a human being. Wow. Now, the taxi world is not known particularly in the 1980s, for the uh, calibre of person that was working here. Um, they, a lot of them were just straightforwardly on the make, for the lack of a better word, did not put the money back into the company that um, should have been put back into. I was not tough enough to be able to deal with the financial constraints, if you like, of dealing with the, the financial side of it. So, in other words, I didn't check carefully enough on the drivers where we were dependent on a cash turnover to get the money back into the kitty to pay all the bills and therefore buy better and nicer cars. And it wasn't until we realised that if you went for contract work, the financial control was actually in the hands of the company. And in other words, you mm. dealt the money out. I see. And that was when it started to... Uh, right. So where did that idea come from? Did someone advise you about that? Or? No, it, again, it was just reading a, a newspaper or a book or something and all of a sudden some, a, a, a very small contract was advertised, yeah, probably locally, and I thought, well, we could do that. Mm. Gave my price, was obviously accepted, and that was the start of the, of the, of the idea of a contract mm. business coming in and being there every every week, every month, mm. and you would have the money then to deal with what you needed to deal with. So that was making it very grounded and very practical. Exactly. So when, you, when you're running a business, you have to have that passion yeah. and that drive, yeah. but you have to have the grounding and practicality. Yeah, just so doing it, and that was missing. And that was, that's <laughs> the pitfall. Absolutely, every, you, you would have seen way. it. Yeah. And, and, that, that, and that's the pitfalls of the early years here, the first mm. four or five years, when I didn't have enough nuance, is that the word, what to, 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 or enough savvy, if you like, yeah. to, to realise yeah. that I'd got to have enough money coming in, and it was no good drivers floating in and floating out, pocketing everything, mm. and me getting nothing. So when we were able to pick up the contract work, that's when it, it reversed, and that's when everything started to go right. absolutely correctly. Okay, and you got the structure you needed, absolutely, and the strength to move this on. So, I'm I'm very interested in you know, like you say, you start a new business, you're a woman going out there into the into a man's world, and you had the pitfalls because you're starting something completely new. Um, I don't really think this is a gender thing at the moment. Mm -hmm. The perhaps the softness of me as far as not being careful enough to make sure that I was getting my cuts, if you like, from, from the early taxi drivers, maybe a, a, a frailty in, um, in, the, um, in, in the female species, but 
I, I also know lots of men that, have all, that fell exactly by the wayside mm. um, in the same way. So. Well, I believe we have energies, you know, feminine and masculine energies. And when you're running a business, you need more of that masculine energy yes. that, makes, that makes you more grounded. Because yep. the feminine is the creative. I would agree with It's that. the passionate. So, I mean, when there were times when you went through really difficult times, where did you turn to? The bank, usually. <laughs> I <laughs> mean, um, do you have any any spirituality at all? Anything? No. Sorry, like religion or no, no, or uh, friends uh, or just uh, uh, only who kept you strong? I mean, uh, apart from the bank, uh, only the joy of knowing <laughs> that I'd come from quite a um, a tough background uh, in the sense of that the the the, 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 the immigrant background was um, quite deep in me. Um, that you had to succeed, that this is why they'd come here in 1904. And my mother's own background, where she'd been hungry as a child. Mm -hmm. um, and I think these are the two meetings of energy, as you would call it, that have kept me going. But I have no p strong religious convictions. Um, but I have a love of humanity and believe that we will all get there in the end. Well, that's very spiritual. I believe we're all connected and we're all working together for a greater good in some way. Well, that's what I believe. I'm relying on each other. So did you have any um, loyal friends that stood by you or, with, you know, that really helped you? I don't believe so, no. I believe um, I've pretty much uh, done it on my own. I, can't, I cannot yeah. think of anybody. I, 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 as I said, I had a mentor in the selling world that helped me tremendously. I was a great sense of humour. Um, I would. I can remember when I was working as a rep, being taken along to a grand store. I think it may have been Harrods, and met a buyer there. And um, I can remember this chap turning around with his wonderful sense of humour, saying, "Have you met Mussolini's niece?" And to this day, <laughs> to this day, I don't know whether he really thought I was Mussolini <laughs> <laughs> because of the Italian background. Exactly. <laughs> but that's, oh that that pretty much describes. Mm -hmm. Where where I am, and no, I, I I have no mentor in later life. It's it's been just just what what I've drawn from my own character. Well, you've got it inside you. You see, that's the thing is, it's a good thing not to need other people. When you've got that inner strength inside you, then that was is what helps you get along in life. I well, think it's really important. Well, really, really important. Well, that's to that's, do that. that's mm. where I am today. Mm. And it's lovely. And um, so, I mean, do you want to talk a little bit about your childhood at all, or...? I don't think... Is there I don't, anything I, I, at all that you think... Because, you see, I don't believe in in uh, going over the past and going over the problems. No, my, my childhood... But my childhood what led my, you more... My childhood was a perfectly normal, ordinary 50s childhood. I went to, to normal schools, um, got normal exams, um, got GCSEs and A-levels, um, went to do business courses. Today they will be called university courses, but I didn't go to university. Um, but uh, that, that's, it was all perfectly normal. I cannot think of anything really that um, was exceptional about it. Mm -hmm. Went through, all through the normal teenage phases. Yeah. Who was your favourite pop star? I used to be very fond of <laughs> I, I'm, I'm Everly Brothers Beatles mm. and in later years I've gone on to sort of semi-classical music I still love to listen to Mozart and to um, um, Strauss the, the lighter stuff I suppose you would say What about hobbies? I mean, do you have any time for hobbies? Um, if, I, if, hobbies? If, 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 if I'd have had a real, a real, a real go at it I would have probably liked to have been choral. I would have probably liked to have sat in a, in a, in a choir. That, really? That kind of thing. Yes. Uh, when, when I was younger, I was said to have a nice voice. Oh, wow. Welcome to the world of music. <laughs> but so there's, been, there's been very little time for real yeah. hobbies, you know, real mm. hobbies at all. Well, when you enjoy your, your job as much as you do, it, it really does encompass everything. Yes. It's like everything fits together, doesn't it, in the yeah. puzzle? Because, again, I believe that we have this thing called the wheel of life, where we have different parts of us. But, you know, you need to kind of have the whole 
to encompass the whole of you within it in some way. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but sometimes people will do a job where they're not really getting what they need. They just do a job, they earn their money and that's it. But they need to, to go and do something else, like have a hobby or, you know, something else in order to create this full uh, person that they are. But you're getting it all. Well, I'm within lucky. Your job. As I said, I've, I've mm. always felt that I was very lucky. So mm. I've got I've got no complaints. I do the usual things. I go to the cinema. I go to the theatre. Yeah. You know, I obviously do the, the, normal, the normal things that mm. people do as as outside influences. Go on reasonable holidays mm. and and so on. But um, I think this has been my 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 life really. Yeah. Yeah. And as I say, you've got to be very proud of it. But it certainly you start, must be very proud. It certainly of it. started as a a, a good income. So that I could bring my children up in the way I wanted to bring them up. Mm. So how how would you say you're unique? Because you say we've talked a little bit about the uniqueness in the way that everyone that works for you, you give them that extra, you know, that 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 connection, that that uh, friend, you know, that rapport that maybe other companies don't. Is there anything else that you can tell? Our audiences that you feel in that you not really. In any other no, way. I think no. I think it's it's just been a, a pure matter of coincidence. Really, everything's developed and evolved almost, almost the way of evolution. I haven't set out with any designated thoughts whatsoever. Um, so yeah. you didn't sit there and write out your goals and say this no, is what nothing about so it's that. happened more naturally just, than more organic it just way. evolved I just mm. wanted to be my own boss I was going to make it work nothing was going to stop me making it work and um, as I was joking with you earlier you know it was the bank that helped me yeah I, when I hear bankers Funny. slated today <laughs> I often think somebody should put in a good word for me yeah <laughs> <laughs> so they really really helped yeah me. they did they did they really did yeah <laughs> So what what are your dreams or aspirations? Um, oh, just have you still got things that you still want to do? Are you still developing the company? Oh like yes, the, co the company will develop. In what way? Um, and and um, uh, hopefully it will eventually go into coaches. Okay, that's that. That that's is, what you that, want that to is do. the 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 uh, last chance saloon, if you like. <laughs> and that, that that's what we want to do. We want to eventually to go into coaches. It's not going to perhaps happen this. This, this year, but it will certainly happen in the, in, in the coming years. Um, how much longer I'm actually going to be able to maintain a full working life, I don't know. Because mm. life, the, the years are now going against me. Mm. But so far, so, so, so far, so good. Keeping you young. So, far, you young. so far, so good life. So, I mean, I, I can't see you retiring. No, I don't Why would you want to retire no, no. when you're so happy? No, I'm, mm. it's, it's, it's not in my thoughts to retire, mm. not at all. But... No, none of us know what life has... I've been a very healthy person, that's been another thing. Yeah, that uh, I can count on probably two hands in the days of sickness that I've had. But that's because you're happy. And um, Your heart is, you know, you're, you're enjoying your so that, life. That's it's been, so important. That's been another to blessing. To be happy, you know, because then people who are happier, they do have longer lives. You know, well, that's been, yeah, it's that's, this contentment. Keeps the heart open. Well, that's been mm. the blessing that I've been very well, and I hope that you know that I'm going to have quite a few years left. But I don't Please know. Go. I don't know. But if you did have more time, what would you do to yourself? I mean, if you did have more time, oh, I can work. I, I suppose it's the usual things. I would read books and um, plod round and have a look at the garden and the usual things that people do. But I have no great enthusiasm for it at all. None at all. What about writing your own life story? Have you ever thought about that? As as kind of like maybe a guide to other people that it want may to be go some, out there? It may be something that mm. I'll give thought to um, in due course, but I, I honestly haven't thought that way thought about no, it. No, not at all. Because I think one of the reasons that, that we're doing Moving On TV is we want people to know that you can go out there and achieve your dreams, like you've done and like I'm doing. It, it's a message, you know, to people. Oh, and, yes. and to guide, you know, you're you're there. Better than all the them. better than all the pills in the world. Definitely, definitely. Better than all the pills. Do what you love. With and again, I'm here with Vera from uh, Premium Cars and High Wycombe.